Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's well. I hope you're enjoying the videos previously published by myself. Um, I did a little tyre video. I uh, went down to see the P guys at P&B Garage in Romsey. Just wanted to check them out really. They're really cool down there. Nice bunch of lads. Um, tried a couple of new things filming wise with the camera. I'm, I'm new to all like the camera-y stuff. I just normally take pictures on my phone. So I thought I'd have a little play. Um, thanks to those of you that have subscribed recently, um, it's getting ever so close to the 500 mark. Just remember, once it reaches that 500 mark, I'm looking for the first message that says, I am 500 and you'll win a free hat. Uh, it's pretty cool. And I've just had an order of jumpers come in. Uh, I've got two. I've got one for myself and I've got one for the lucky winner of the 1,000th th th subscriber, however you pronounce that, 1,000th subscriber. Anyway, when it hits a 1,000, it'll be the same sort of thing. Smash the like button, I am 1,000, and you'll also get a hat and a jumper. Just a way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. In this video, guys, I'm going to be fitting a reclining front seat bit managed to get hold of one of these bad boys um, so let's take a look and let's see how it goes in right first thing we've got to do is remove this seat so if you guys have seen this before you can literally lift it up at the front slide it forward and you've got access to inside there's eight bolts inside I believe there are 16 mil, I think, or maybe a 15, but find the right socket and undo them all. Worst socket set in the world. Okay, once you've done that, just close the seat over a little bit, and then we're gonna look at taking it out. There is no best way, right way for this. Um, you know, you can push it forward, you can do whatever you like with it. I found that um, leaning it back slightly and looking over the top and checking that all of the wires are safe, and then you can just lift it out and then move it into the back of your bus. So let's crack on with that. cables are safe, seats out, let's get it out of the van and let's take a closer look at what we're going to be doing. Okay so the seats out, um, going to be a lot easier to access all of the little um, nuts and bolts and whatever you've got to get to. Uh, so let's take a look first at the sides, um, we're going to remove some bolts on the side here. Let's crack on. Okay the ones on the side are spline bits. They're quite tight. Um, so what we're going to do is just make sure we undo those. And then the other side. Both sides of that. Yep. We can get this off. one again put them somewhere safe right I'm not going to take this bolt out just yet because it's holding the seat in or at least it's holding the back on before we take the bolt out of the back we're just going to release the seat belt now um, so let's try and find the right socket for that quickly Brilliant. 17 mil. This should be real tight. Nope. Not very tight at all. 
it's gonna be when I do it back up. The seat belt. Crikey. Okay, so that's off. So now what we're gonna do, putting that somewhere safe, is take this bolt out at the back. Gotcha. Right, once we've got all the bolts out, you should be able to lift this seat out. So we know that this side is loose. And we know that this side's off as well. So we should be able to pick it out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, just uh, for ease, is just loosen up the back of my seat cover hopefully reveal this now the replacement part that I've got uh, is a genuine Volkswagen bit um, a few days now obviously it's going to replace all of this bit so we need to try and get access to that now these seat covers that are already on I believe yeah so they do separate nicely. Now, the back part, if you push the base in, the back part itself, then peel off. So let's pop the new one in. So this is the first one we're going to tighten up. Make sure that it's nice and tight. It was pretty tight when I undid it. And then we're going to go down the back side down there. So I'm just going to need my extender bar on. Show you this one a little bit better now. Let's roll that back. It's just tucked under there. And the way I had to access it was to go under this metal bar. So I could get to it. And now we're just gonna get this nice and tight too. Now it's the last bolt which is underneath here, which I gather it allows to, it to um, pivot. This one's a little easier to get to actually, and with it being an Allen key, I've got a shorter bit. So I'm pretty happy with that. So let's get this nice and tight. Can't get any tighter than that. Okay, let's have a look at putting this seat back together. So first of all, we've got our existing seat covers, whatever you've got. Some fancy ones or whatever get a little bit of a close-up of it this is gonna fold round and under into this kind of little slap bit on this side you can see so again just tuck that in there pull that down roll this round and under And that's it. And then, get my seat covers back down. If you like these ones, I'll show you a link to them. Just, you know, as you do. These are from uh, VW Transporters. This is another one of their products they sell. They're quite old now, actually. I've had them a while. Um, but they are pretty good. 
I am uh, very impressed with the quality of them. side and then the last side Just got it mega tight. One of the two, but for now, that will do. Okay, so putting it back together is pretty much the reverse of taking it apart. So, what we're going to do is just drop that into there, close to that one, close to that one. Happy days. Okay, so I'm gonna get these two outer bolts done up first, then I'm gonna sort out the inside. Other side next. So the tire video, if you guys haven't seen that yet, there is a link for it at the top now, just up there. Go and check it out. It's really good, actually. I was really impressed with the service and the quality of the knowledge and stuff they knew down there. It was, out, it was insane, really. Right. Inside the seat now. Two bolts inside. First one I'm going to do is this one. Pop that through. Put the nut on the other side. There we go. Just get a nut on the back. And then we'll get these tightened up. Undo a wrap. <laughs> Oh dear, I love my knowledge of tool names. And then the back one. Making sure that these bad boys are real tight. That's actually ah, tight as dang doodars. Tip here, ideally, would be to make sure that it is not twisted. <laughs> nice. Right, so let's shut it up. Let's give it a try. Should be able to give this a tug and then push the seat over. Happy days. I'm well chuffed with that. Right, let's get it back in the van and then let's check it out inside. Very happy with that. So, all I've got to do now is pull this lever push the chair forward and I've got a nice little table eee. well that's it guys thanks for watching this is Tom this is T-Dubs I hope you enjoyed the video if you did just smash the thumbs up button and remember 
when the channel hits 500 subscribers, the first one to quote, I am 500, will receive one of these free hats, just as a kind gesture to say thanks. So, this is Tom, this is T-Dubs, subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up button, see you all soon.